don't suppose you've heard of a room to let? Can't say I have. No. Why are you moving? Possibly. Put that in your window for me, will you? Up market pads only. Isn't it the landlord that normally makes the demands? Yeah, well, I'm not your normal tenant, am I? Say that again. If you hear anything, get on the uh, blower. Oh, dear. I never did take a good photo. Well, I shouldn't think Never mind ever... what you look like. That's good coverage. Oh, you think a few people waving a petition's going to stop anything? Well, you didn't say that when we were fighting the four masts. Yeah, that's right. And this is going to be one in the eye for the king, straight in the eye. Well, I'm not standing round to listen to you two. Well, we'll be needing another hot drink. I'm sure he's coming down with flu. A lot of folk read the courier. We're bound to get more support from that. Yeah. Search down law. Nothing. Nobody's seen him. Well, maybe he's hitched lift. He could be miles away. Maybe he'll turn up at the court, then. Of course she won't. I'm worried, Dad. Hey, come on, son. We're not giving up hope. Not yet. Well, what more can you do? Hmm? Look, me and Sam could get taken to prison if we don't find him. Let's just have one more chance to try and hunt him down. I'm oh, sorry, I've got to go to work. Right, I'll come with you. Right, nice one. Right, come on, you lot. Good luck, love. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll turn up. Hey. Right, now we're out of luck. Well, we couldn't knock on people's doors last night, so we'll start with that, shall we? Don't be out stupid. I mean, if you do find him, we want to find him in one piece. Don't worry. We'll glue him back together before we drag him to court. Couldn't wait, could you, to drop me in it with Pollard? He's only been back five minutes, and you're steaming, telling me Dad all about me little scam. Excuse me, but what I mentioned to Alan has got nothing to do with you and Eric. It has when Alan tells Pollard about my mobiles. <laughs> oh, and don't try and pretend you didn't know he'd grass me up. Now, look here. That's the only reason you said it, you two-faced backstabber. All I said was that I was not prepared to be used by you used? anymore. Oh, please, love. If I was going to use someone, I'd find someone with a lot more to offer than you. I thought I made myself plain last night. Shelley has done absolutely nothing wrong. Unlike you, doesn't seem able to do anything right. Oh, that's right. Make me out to be some kind of monster. Like you've never tried to set up a little dodgy deal in your life. Some memory you've got, eh, Dad? We're not talking about my past, although, if I may say, it compares very favourably to your present. Now, get out of my sight. To think I gave you both my blessing. We don't need your blessing. Good, cos I've taken it back. Fine by me. Shelley? <laughs> How's Christopher's nursery coming along? Doggy. Yeah, I'm going to buy a few more bits for it today. Who's that from? Hey. Emma. My ex. And you still keep in touch, do you? Sporadically. <laughs> oh! How lovely for her. She's found the woman of her dreams and they're living in domestic bliss. Uh, you still like her, do you? No, it's not that. It's just... Well, it's such a long time since I felt even remotely close to anyone. Yeah, well, you've been busy with other things, haven't you? Yeah, yeah going mad, you mean. Jean? Concentrating on your family? Yes, yeah, both like Yeah. Oh, come on, Zoe. If you wanted to start seeing another woman, you could. Like, there are so many to choose from. Well, there are loads of clubs in Leeds. I think those days are over. All right, I'm coming. Blimey, Zach, I know you lot like a drink, but it's not even half past ten. Is that Shadrach here? No, it's not. We closed. Now, look, if you're hiding him from us... Of course I'm not hiding him from you. Why would I? I think she's telling the truth, Dad. You'd be getting a whiff of them if he was in a quarter of the mile radius. Oh, time's running out! Come on! All right! I'm here on behalf of Bob. He's coming down with flu, so he won't be in today. Oh, you're joking. We rushed off our feet with Louise away. Well, I can't help that. He could barely lift his head off the pillow, so he's staying where he is. Oh, fair enough. Thanks for letting us know. You two don't exactly look your best either. Mind you, you never do first thing in the morning. Oh, get gone. That's great, isn't it? You could always let me help you out then. No, no, it's all right, I'll manage. No, I'm just offering to help and I'm free. Yeah, 
But there's always a price to pay with you, Val. The answer's no. Well, what do you know? What are you doing here? You thought everyone were out, didn't you? <sighs> Nearly give me a heart attack. Yeah, well, maybe you prefer that to what you've got coming to you. Come on, Chaz. Be a good girl. Let me slip out with a few notes in me pocket. A few notes? I saw this family owns. You don't want to see me go to prison, do you? Not the man that was responsible for putting me on this earth. <sighs> do you want to be on your own when you're old and frail and incapable of looking after yourself? What's that got to do without? You haven't got anyone but Zach and Lisa. They've given you a home. God knows why, cos you never show them any thanks for it. They can't wait to see me go down. Yeah, and who can blame them here the way you take advantage? Do you realise, right, they've got a party organised for tonight to celebrate after they're rid of you? They can't wait to see the back of you, cos you're a taker. You always have been. Don't you realise, right, you get out of this life what you put in? I've done my share over the years. Oh, yeah? Come on, tell me when. You're a waste of space, you know you are. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Go to prison to make it up to him? I think you're best off working that out for yourself. But I will tell you this much, mind. I think it might be your only chance to wipe your slate clean. Aye. Happens it might. Oh, there's Zoe. Zoe! Hi, how are you? You're great, thanks. I haven't seen much of you for a while. No, I've been run off my feet getting this Chamber of Commerce dinner ready for Friday. Well, I'm sorry not to be invited to such an exciting event. Yeah, I'm sorry too, but believe me, you're not missing anything. Listen, it's ages since we've had dinner together. Why don't you come over tonight? I think it's the last you need with everything you've got to organise. No, I insist. Well, if you're sure. Of course she is. Go on, you go and have a good time. No, I meant both of you. Oh, oh, well. Oh, that'd be lovely. Um, I'll see you both at about eight. See you then. And thanks. <laughs> Bye. You're doing the right thing. OK, but just don't go on about it. Well, there's no hey, shame. Dad! Oh, Dad, you do a runner, did you? And leave me and Sam to take the rap? No, no, Hang yeah. on, Zach! <laughs> so where have you been all night? I was looking for a lady like I were promised. We're in court in a few hours and you're coming with us. I know I am. I want to. You what? I said I'd be there. You were right. I did try and run away. But I couldn't go through with it. Not when I thought of what had happened to you and Sam. So why are you not dressed for it? I was just saying goodbye to me dear daughter. It's the last time she'll see her old dad before I'm banged up. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Have you come to your senses? No hard feelings, eh? No hard feelings. Well, what can I say? You invited pretty much everyone I can think of. Ken, um, I'm at work. I don't care. We need to speak. Family business. It can wait. It can't. What is it, then? You don't come here, right? This is where I work. I need to be professional, Kane. Well, we need you to come and help find Shadrach. Not busy. Too busy to support your own family. After everything they did for you and it looked like you were staying inside. One more person going looking for him is not going to make much difference, is it? Now, just go. And I'll come back. Why are you so bothered about what he thinks, eh? Uh, because he's my boss. Please, Kane, stop trying to mess everything up for me. I'm sorry about that. I hope the judge don't give us an hard time. So do I. You will be king of the dingles for many years to come now, Shadrach. As long as you stick to that story. Aye. King from a prison cell. Oh, he's being serious, isn't he? I mean, he's not going to try and do another run, eh? Got no chance. I'll stick right by his side until we're in front of that judge. Right, then. Best make a move, then. We don't want to be late. I'll let Debbie and Kane know on the way. Some, some call Shadrach. 
I reckon it's dead big of you to do all this. Aye. Come on, then. Let's get it over with. Just um, looking up stuff, music for the pie. No, I meant with your boyfriend. He seemed a bit worked up about something. Oh, that. No, it was nothing really. And he knows not to bother me again at work. And he's not um, not my boyfriend anymore. I see. In fact, he's definitely not. Do you want to go for that drink tonight then? Since I couldn't make it yesterday. Um. Well, yeah. I'd love. I'd love to. Great. I'm meeting Matthew in the pub about seven, so I'll see you there, then. Why not? Oh, never mind, love. Thank you. Not much for rent at the moment, I take it? I don't know what you're talking about. I was just on the phone to a supplier. Oh, <laughs> sounds like it. <laughs> Why should I look for somewhere to live? I haven't decided what to do yet. Oh, so you're thinking of giving me half your profits after all? I didn't say that. I'm... Juggling my options. Oh. Well, as I see it, you only have two. Now, who in their right mind's going to rent a room to a single woman in her fifties? I'll have you know, I could get somewhere to live in minutes. Oh, in minutes? Well, although there's nearly an hour to go to the end of my working day, I would suggest you hurry up and decide. Unless it is you want to find your bags out on the street. Is he in here tonight? Tell me about it. That fella on the left's next, by the way, just in case he lost track. I've worked busier nights than this, Val, and I've never lost track. Oh, it wasn't a criticism, just an idle punter's observation. <laughs> Get the drinks in, Lisa. Right, Yarlow. So, did he say he did it? Your father proved that he is a man worthy of the name Dingle this afternoon. <laughs> he stood in that courtroom and said it was all down to him. <laughs> and what did he get? Well, we didn't hang around your ear all that, like. But the important thing is that we saw him take the blame. Yeah, <laughs> we want us to get back and get the party started. <laughs> yeah, you're right, though. We'll get some drinking done. Come here, Sam. Dingle and son, free as a bird. Mm. Here's yours, love. Oh, thank you, dear. I do believe a toast is in order. To absent friends. To absent, absent friends. friends. <laughs> Looks like it's going to get rowdy in here tonight. Sounds like fun. Where's Good one. What? Hey, Charity, what are you drinking? I'm all right, Chris, like, actually. I'm, I'm joining the... Uh... Yeah, joining the family celebrations. Yeah, Shadrach took the rapping court, so it's party time. Yeah. Yeah. Here they are, love. I'll get myself another one. The thing is, I've been thinking it over all day. And you're right. Why shouldn't you get half the profits? As you say. The factory is half yours, after all. 51%, actually, I have to keep reminding you. So, no potential landlords came to your rescue? I told you, why should I look for somewhere to live when we're so happy sharing? <laughs> <laughs> you really think I was born yesterday, don't you? If there was a way out, you would have found it. Look, I'm giving you half the profits. Can't you be gracious and leave it at that? No, I can't. Because you're going to carry on living at my place and I'm afraid we're going to have to discuss your rent. You said I could stay there for nothing. Yes, well, that was before as a way of saying thank you for the support you'd shown me. But as of today, with our new understanding, I expect a hundred pound a week, please. A hundred quid? Hmm. I'll give you sixty-five. Ninety. Seventy-five, and that's my limit. Yes, Stephanie, you are the limit. Seventy-five it is. Will there be anything else? Next time any deals come your way, be sure to let me know, won't you? Even if I happen to be trekking through the Amazonian rainforest. Do you understand me? Loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> poor Shadrach! No. What do you mean, poor Shadrach? Uh, he had it coming to him! Oh, he not the time of his life in prison. No booze, a bath every day. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> What's going on? Strange as it may sound, they're celebrating the fact that one of their numbers been sent down. They certainly have a strange way of dealing with things. Anyway, it, it's been lovely, but I, I've got a business meeting over there, so I'll see you in a bit, yeah? Uh, you're not in the office now. No, I know, but... No, but this is a family occasion and your presence is required for the duration, OK? OK, stop thinking you can tell me what to do, right? Of course they're scroungers. None of them have got a proper job, half of them have been inside and we're stupid enough to have one of them working for us. Charity, ignore my son and his uncalled for opinions. Come and sit down and join us. Same again. It's gorgeous. Don't know how you find the time. Be surprised how much time someone like me can find. Right, um, some music. Any requests? Oh, um, have you got any ABBA? No, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, mostly classical, I'm afraid. But I'll see if I can find something that isn't too sombre. OK. Oh, dear. <clears throat> so, uh, I hear Christopher's fit and healthy again. He's... Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping he'll come home soon. You must be so relieved. Yes. Oh, one of my favourites. But I love Abba just as much, if not more. Listen, I'm sorry if I'd have known all this stuff going on tonight. It's just taking a much shovel. You're not ashamed of him, are you? <laughs> well, I'm not exactly proud of him. I just, I want to make something myself, you know. Unlike any of that shower. I suppose I'm what you might call a self-made man. And if there's one thing I can pass on to you, it's that people tend to resent any form of success. So how did a self-made man get his foot so far up the ladder, then? I'm not of our graft. Yeah, but I'm sure you'd have to have a few friends in high places. Unless you break a few of the rules. What kind of rules would they be? Well, if you do everything by the book, you don't end up with what you've got, do you? Listen, I put in the hours and then the years. It's as simple as that. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I wasn't suggesting that you... You didn't do things by the book, you know? That's all right. But now you know. <laughs> uh, right, then. Hey, let's carry on this shindig back at the headquarters, eh? Conger! Hey, Conger! Here we go! Right, come on, we're all going back to ours. Kane, I'm out with my colleagues. Yeah, well, you've had enough time to talk shop now. Look, if you don't... You should. Don't you think? Sorry? Well, they are your family. And it sounds like they've got something to celebrate. If one of your number being incarcerated is any kind of a victory. Yeah, right. Well, it's been lovely. Thanks, um, Tom. I'll see you at work, yeah? Have a good night. Don't tell me you've been sat there all night because you want to keep in as a secretary. You fancy him, don't you? Fancy who? Him. That Matthew. I don't fancy him. Kane, they're my bosses. Why do you have to assume everything has to do with sex? Well, I've had better. I've had better in here. They're short-staffed. Maybe Marlon can't spend as much time preparing the food. No. He just needs his confidence building, that's all. Not your knickers in a twist, have you, eh? Just get lost, Kane. And I'm going to that party for Zach and Sam's sake, not because you said I should. No, because your smart boss has said you should, more. Right! That is it! What? I am not going to go on living like this. All you do is drag me down to your level. You can't bear to see me make some of myself, can you? You can't well get off your eye, Oscar, because you're not above anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to want better for myself. I've just got to forget what I had with Chris. And, and accept me a lot of some down and out dingle, but do you know what, Ken? I ain't gonna do it. So you're only the secretary. Do you know what you are? You're an embarrassment. All you've done today is show me up while I'm sick of it. Just you leave me alone, Ken! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, oh, thank you. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no thanks again, it's been great fun. Yeah, you'll have to come over to ours next time. Oh, that'd be lovely. We'll see ourselves out. OK. Thanks. Good night. Night. Oh, nice to try out. All right. How's it going? Yeah, very well. Well, 
It was lovely to see Ashley and Laurel's very entertaining, but I can't pretend that I didn't feel like a Cusbury. You're still thinking about Emma and your new girlfriend, aren't you? Everyone seems to have found someone except for me. What about me? No, you know what I mean. Even Charity seems to have found herself a new mug to get her claws into. Yeah, well, it's like I said. You just want to start getting out more. <sighs> hey, no more Shadrach in our bedroom. <laughs> I'm still defumigating it. <laughs> we can leave the toothbrushes out again. Hmm? I'll come through and find mine with bits of meat all over. Oh! <laughs> if in that trunk he'd come back and gone at his mall, let's wear them. Oh. Yeah, I wonder why mine was wet sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of all that. Now, today, uh, justice has reigned supreme, so one last toast. To dear old Shadrach. There'll never be another like him. Thank God. <laughs> what are you doing here? I am the bringer of the best news. I got sentenced. Well, how come you're here then? Because the judge took a shine to me, said he could see I were a good man deep down, so he decided to give me community service. You're joking! And it's all down to our chaz. If you had gone out of your way to make me see the error of my ways, I would never have come across so pitifully. You'll be the next one being outcast at this rate. Not kidding. A hundred hours cleaning up parts, whatever. I have got a complete dust to look forward to. Community service. And that's it. That's what you get through telling the truth as standing by your family. King of the Dingles. That's what you said to me in its act. Hey, it's good to be back in the bosom of my family. Oh.